Well, it was billed as the biggest single television event in history. Estimated 2 billion viewers. But why is the rest of the world so fascinated by the British royals? I'm joined here in the studio. French and Russian commentators. Uh, Russian, Alexander Nekrasov. French, Nabila Ramandi. And in New York, as you can see, US commentator Jeffrey Robinson. Uh, afternoon to all. Perhaps let's get the Russian perspective first. Uh, Alexander, what was it made of in Russia? Well, first of all, President Medvedev and his wife sent a personal message to the newlyweds, congratulating them, wishing them many years of happiness, and including a nice present, a jewelry box, a Fedoskin jewelry box. Huh? It, it, it ranges from 300 pounds to 25,000 pounds. We don't know yet which price range was in that, but um, quite a nice present. And it was uh, t um, shown on television. A, a big, big audience, big audience, and basically I looked at some of the responses on the internet and one Russian, one Russian was writing, it's a sad thing that we disposed of our monarchy, look what <laughs> we could have had. <laughs> right, interesting take on it. Okay, the French perspective then, Nabila? Well, even Republican France went absolutely mm. royal wedding mad about the whole thing, with the major TV uh, channels uh, covering uh, the event live, even building up to the event weeks before uh, the wedding. Uh, they started live coverage from Bucklebury uh, even before breakfast. And, uh, of course, all the newspapers and magazines, uh, you know, covered with uh, uh, the whole story, <coughs> front pages with pictures of the Union Jack, William and Kate, and even uh, the major magazines offering pull-out supplements. I see. I find it all quite interesting. Why do you think it is, Nabila? Why, what captures the interest of, of a country that doesn't have that association with, with the British royal family? Well, I think, you know, the, the French, of course, uh, got rid of their own royal family mm. a few centuries ago, so there's perhaps a sense of guilt underpinning this interest. But uh, more crucially, uh, the French are absolutely fond of uh, Princess Diana still, uh, mm -hmm. William's mother, of mm -hmm. course, and they uh, still remember her with fondness as um, a very uh, charming and charismatic young woman. So I think that's what triggers uh, the, the interest, really. Let's go over to the United States then. Jeffrey Robinson there for us. Uh, we, we saw in Robert's report, Jeffrey, uh, some of the pictures of the day. What are the newspapers making of it? Yeah, it was, it was a good day. You know, the world needs small events to feel happy about themselves. And your last guest <laughs> in the last section who said, uh, I'm very proud to be British. That's what this is all about. And, and, and good show, is, as you would say. New York Times, of course, leads with it above the fold. The picture Wait. right there. The picture right there. The Daily News has got the kiss right on the front page. Um, right there. The New York Post, which is a very suspect paper, uh, leads <laughs> with the kiss also. But then inside the post, there's some woman who writes, Kate puts on a brave face amid tacky spectacle. <laughs> I would suggest that woman, yeah, I'd suggest that woman needs a boyfriend rather soon. <laughs> However, the best story, oh, I got to tell you, all the guys here at the Fox studio in New York are asking about Pippa. <laughs> Pippa, Pippa is hot. Pippa is really hot. Uh, I'm watching Pippa. Pippa is really hot, and a lot of the guys here have been asking about that. But then there's a story about other weddings, and I like this story. Apparently, somebody named Lauren and Kate also got married yesterday. They had $55 worth of flowers. They had two cops uh, who happened to be at City Hall anyway. And after the wedding, they went for a jog downtown. <laughs> Strikes me as being the wrong verb, but it's New York. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Alexander, proud to be British, many people are saying that. Is part of the interest, the pomp, the ceremony, all of the, the military turning out, the police and their roles in it all, just the big spectacle. It's not necessarily r that it is a royal spectacle. Well, for Russia, it is important that it's a royal spectacle okay. because uh, I think a lot of Russians uh, are you know, feeling guilty, basically, about what happened to the royal family in Russia itself. And uh, I, I, I think basically, you know, this is a feel-good story, and there's so few of them now, and especially in Russia where, you know, there's have many problems going on. And I think people just wanted to get away from this, you know, the nastiness. But uh, the royal connection in Russia is very, very strong. 
there, are, there is even talk about, you know, reviving in some way the monarchy there, which is uh, basically won't work. And I think it's, it's actually in Russian, in the case of Russia, I think it's the royal connection mm. that was the strong one. Okay, very interesting. Um, Nabiya, the royal family, of course, are known around the world, but we've now got this other family, the Middletons, who have become familiar. Is there interest outside the UK for the Middletons? Very much so. And it, one interesting aspect is that the main French commentator to, um, uh, as a, came to be brought in as a pundit was uh, the German fashion designer Karl Lagerfeld. And he, went, uh, he was absolutely in love with uh, Kate's uh, dress. Mm -hmm. uh, he thought he was very elegant and sophisticated. And he also um, complimented her on her hairdo, saying that uh, flat hair suited her better because it gave her an allure of the 1930s. He was, uh, his new idols are certainly Carol and Pippa, mm -hmm. uh, whom he described as being very sexy but not vulgar. <laughs> and he had a little go, I have to say, at uh, Princess Beatrice saying, you know, where did she find her hat? Uh, and he found it quite atrocious, which I thought was a bit harsh. Yeah, uh, Geoffrey, uh, a final thought from you then. Does it, does it change anything in terms of, of attitudes outside of Britain, in your case, in the United States? Does it change anything about how the, the world looks at Britain? No, given the same choice, we would still dump your tea in the harbour. But you know what? We get along well with Britain. We like Britain. We almost speak the same language. It is, uh, it is Europe without the pain. We enjoy the pomp and the circumstance. And what it was all about were those millions of people on the mall yesterday waving the Union Jack and being happy. These are not happy times. And it provided a, a, a respite from the real world. And why not? Long may it wave. Yeah, and Jeffrey, actually... <laughs> The American networks went wild about it, didn't they? I mean, oh, down, it's down... still playing. Go on. The reruns are still playing. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's endless. Uh, you know, other things happen in the world yesterday, but you couldn't tell it if you watched uh, NBC, CBS, ABC, CNN, Beeb America. I mean, it's just on and on and on. I don't know what Judge Judy's doing this weekend because she's not on television. <laughs> For a shade. Alexander, did it... Is it still dominating on Russian television or has, has it moved on? Well, it moved on, but I mean, it's still a big story. And, and, and the feeling is that uh, such was the success of uh, Kate Middleton's dress that all the oligarchs will be ordering it now <laughs> for their daughters, for their weddings. And I suspect Sarah Burton is going to have a few calls already asking to do this dress for them. Uh, the, f the fashion, Nabila, I mean, you know, the French renowned for couture, uh, and a British design on show like that, you mentioned it briefly, but it, it's got to have made an impact. Oh, very much so. They thought she, uh, Kate, absolutely looked lovely and stunning, in fact. They loved the understated uh, nature of her mm -hmm. dress and the, the elegance and the sophistication of, um, uh, of her allure overall. And the, all the front pages of the, uh, I mean, all the magazines are uh, uh, doing a front page of, you know, the... Um, there, I mean, the pictures of Kate and Will are dominating the front pages with souvenir editions being produced. And the French even, uh, some papers have even quadrupled the uh, newspapers, which is absolutely rare given that France is famous for not selling papers. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> um, Geoffrey, I'm going to give you one final point now. Uh, your fashion expertise on that dress? Um, well, her dress was great, but I think everybody here still votes for Pippa. Oh, st <laughs> Stop it. You're becoming obsessed. Uh, this is an obsessive newsroom. Trust me. Let me tell you, though, that there was so much coverage yesterday. I mean, the big story for the last three weeks is Donald Trump running or not running for the president. Yesterday was the first day in three weeks he did not dominate television. Mm. He wasn't anywhere to be seen yesterday. That's how big this wedding was. Good stuff, Jeffrey. Thank you uh, for amusing us. Apart from anything else, Jeffrey Robinson well. there, uh, Nabila Ramadani and Alexander Nekrasov. Thank you all. Thank you.